Module 2, Safety. This module will cover safety as it applies to airside driving. There are many prohibitions that you must adhere to when driving airside. Smoking is not allowed on the ramp or in vehicles. This includes e-cigarettes and vapes. You may not use any personal radios, CD players, mobile phones, iPods, or wear earbuds while driving on the ramp. There are no motorcycles, mopeds, or bicycles allowed airside, as well as no skateboards, inline skates, or scooters. As you learned in Module 1, it is a requirement that you have a valid driver's license and that you are trained and certified in the use of any equipment you will be driving. Talk to your manager or supervisor about receiving this training and make sure that you sign off. Just like driving on the road, there are many do's and don'ts of driving airside. You should always drive the speed limit, only drive in areas that you are authorized, park in approved areas only, pick up any foreign object debris that you see, and obey all signs and markings. You should never carry more passengers than permitted, exceed the weight limitation of your vehicle, or leave a vehicle unattended in a movement area. Some common hazards you may encounter while driving airside are jet blast, engine ingestion, and various weather such as rain, snow, winds, or hot conditions. You will learn more about these hazards and how you can stay safe around them in your classroom AVOP training. Plane pushbacks also present a hazard to drivers. You will know if an aircraft is about to push back if it has red flashing lights on the top and bottom of the aircraft, a tug is connected to the aircraft, the passenger bridge is retracted, and all servicing vehicles are moved away from the aircraft. While we live by the motto of all incidents are preventable, if you encounter or witness a hazard or are involved in an incident while driving airside, you should always ensure that you report this to your manager or supervisor and fill out an intellects report documenting the specifics of what happened. You will receive more training about incident reporting through intellects in your online course. If you damage an aircraft, are involved in an accident, or witness damage to an aircraft, you must report it immediately to the aircraft engineer and your supervisor. You must also fill out an intellects report documenting the specifics of what happened. If your airport is under a reduced visibility operation or low visibility operation, you may be prohibited from driving airside during these times to ensure your safety and the safety of others working on the ramp. In this module, you learned about different safety procedures surrounding airside driving. We also discussed common hazards and procedures for reporting incidents. When you're ready, please continue to the quiz.